Also, I've got some killer deals from Banggood. So there's going to be a link to this down below. Uh, you click on the link, you've got your coupon code, and you can get some massive discounts on a lot of cars. So this car here, I've got this coming in the mail, and I will be reviewing that soon. We've got this WL Toys here, which I reviewed a little while ago, and this is probably one of my favourite smaller RC cars at the moment. Also, we've got this WL Toys here, which takes an absolute and utter kicking. I've already reviewed that one, and that's a quite a good piece of kit. Next, probably my favourite is this petrol powered Baja. This is a massive one fifth scale uh, two stroke engine and you can get in on that at a crazy low price too. You got your JLB Cheetah that I've reviewed. That's, that's a crazy fast car for what it is. We've got some military stuff. Uh, a few of these stuff on here I haven't reviewed yet. Some of them I have. I've reviewed this one. That one's a good car. I've played with that one. This one actually looks pretty cool so I may well get that next. I've got this car here on the way. Anyway enough waffling. Just click on the link down below and there will be more info there. Guys, in this video, I've got another micro crawler to feed my little micro crawler addiction. Now this one here's got the motor in the front. So let's crack it open and have a look. Subscribe. Oh, <laughs> look at it. So in the box you get everything that you need to get this thing to run so you get the car, radio, instructions, battery, charger, but you do need to supply your own AAA batteries. And to get those into the radio you just pop this off like that, pop this off and then you just donk them in there. And to get the body off of this thing you've got four body clips and then we can lift the body right off. So we have to motor up front, then the main transmission, then the transfer box in the centre, and then we have the two drive shafts splitting off and going into the front and rear axles. And guys, this is super realistic. Look, we've got a metal ladder chassis, live axles. Oh, centre diff pumpkins. So the body resembles something, not exactly sure quite what. Anywho, enough waffle. Let's charge it up and give it a blast. So this one here is the Hobby Plus version. This one here is the RGT. I'm going to be putting links to both of these down below. Now they are fairly similar but they do have some differences. So the Hobby Plus version has the servo laying down and it's got the motor all the way down right at the bottom of the chassis and there's only one gearbox. So the RGT has a slightly higher centre of gravity especially with the body but with most of the weight up front this may well be better on the hill climb. So once that battery's charged up we're going to give both a little blast and see which one performs better. Alright battery's charged. Let's put the radio on and then the car on. <laughs> Servo's got plenty of speed and power. Oh my god, check out the power of that servo, even pushing down on it. That is still moving. Alright, so now let's see the power. So it's geared quite low, so I'm guessing this is going to crawl really well. Alright, enough waffle, let's give it a blast. We're going to give the Hobby Plus a go. So next, let's have a quick comparison of the two. So steering wise, it works, but it's not as powerful as this one. Look, the servo in this has got way, way, way more power. So maximum speed wise, 
Oh, the RGT is a little bit faster, but not by much. So one thing I like about the Hobby Plus, the lights are on permanently as soon as you switch it on. With this one here, the lights only come on when you actually start driving. Next, let's try the hill climb. So here we go, both cars coming up. So there we got the Hobby Plus. Next, let's try the RGT. So that's at 40 degrees. So now let's see which one can go the steepest. So we're gonna keep lifting this up until one of them flop. 45 degrees. 48. Ah, oh, the RGT tumbles first. Probably due to the higher center of gravity. So 50 degrees, can the Hobby Plus still climb? Oh yes, oh yes, and we're doing it, 49.5 degrees. So the RGT, a couple of degrees less, it's holding it there, but can it climb? Oh no, a little bit less, 45.5. Oh. <laughs> There we go, there's your limit on that one, 45.5. So clear win goes there for the Hobby Plus. So next, we're gonna try a side slope, so starting off at 34 degrees. Let's see which one tumble wumbles first. Oh, 36 degrees. Oh, and the RGT is down at 36.8 degrees. Let's see how much the Hobby Plus can take. Oh, and the Hobby Plus is down at 39.5. So the Hobby Plus can definitely take steeper inclines. Push off more, here we go. Ah, and the RGT wins. So, so far from the experience of this video, I would definitely say that the Hobby Plus is slightly more capable. I think the lower center of gravity of this car here is helping it more over the RGT. Really good steering angle on this actually. I don't think I've picked the best line actually, to be fair, to the bottom out in the middle there. Oh well, we'll give it a go anyway. Yeah, oh well. Oh well, there we go, we've got it stuck. Oh no, oh no. Can we get it out, can we get it out? Oh yes, and we've recovered. There we go, nice and slow. Neil. And then we've got a bit of speed there when we want it as well, so this is now flat out. Look, flat out, Neil, Neil, Neil. Oh, oh, we crashed. So, so there you have it, guys. They're both cool rigs. Both have got pros and cons. This one's got a lot stronger steering, whilst this one's got a lower centre of gravity. They both seem to crawl roughly about as good. Just the lower centre of gravity of this one here tends to just help it and give it that slight little edge. So which one do I recommend? It's a tough one, guys. I mean, I love both of them. When it comes to capability-wise, I think for the mini crawlers, I would still go for the HBX Devastator. There's gonna be an unboxing of this soon. I've done a review on these before, but I tend to do one of these every year because I'm so impressed with how capable these are. Uh, they've got front and rear wheel steer. They're not quite as realistic as these, but they're gonna get you to more places. So there's, there's gonna be a whole video of this soon. So don't forget, I'm gonna be putting links to both of those cars down below. Subscribe, bell button, thumbs up or down. If you suck,